two of the best in the business. Gordon looks inside. Johnson gives him just enough room, but gets the drive off the corner and keeps the lead. Five laps to go. That's where Jimmy in that 48's been so strong, Darrell, over these last 100 laps off the corner. Yeah, and he'll give him that inside getting in because he knows he's got that good line coming off. It gives him a good shot off the corner. And a huge traffic jam ahead of them right there. All right, now you see bump. Now you see Jeff Gordon. What he's trying bump. to do now, he's going to get that run off on the high side and then dive down right here. Rudiman has two flats. He may not make it to the pits. They are side by side for the lead. This is where Gordon will pack it down into turn three right there. I think he'll get him right here. Starter has the caution in hand. No, that's the passing flag. Rudiman has stopped and run to yellow. Now the drivers that were close on fuel, this is not what you wanted to see right here. I have no idea why David Rudiman did not go to the pits while ago. There's I mean, no he, sense in that. He drove right by the pit entrance over there and kept going. Now watch for the caution light in the upper left of your screen. Now there the light comes out. However, it is not the position of the cars at the moment of caution except to end the race. It is the last line they crossed of the scoring loops around the racetrack that determines the restart position. And the scoring is showing Jeff Gordon as the leader. Look at Ryan Newman. He, sh he gave Boyer a shot getting out of the turn line. Line, line. There goes Newman. Oh, Newman's oh, going right. to take the lead. That's exactly what I knew would happen. That was not pretty. A dive bomb move into turn number one, and three cars go spinning, including two of our leaders. So now what do you do? <laughs> Let's look at this. Probably the best view is from above. Let's watch them come to get the green. Gordon inside, Johnson outside. These two cars on the front, they got old tires. They can't get going. These two cars behind them have got fresh cars, tires. They can take off, man. And this is what happens. Boyer blocks Newman, shot him down in there three wide. There you go. And as they all get dusted up, Newman gets the lead, and Almondinger comes out second with Truex third. If they were the only done what I suggested, that would have never happened. Jimmy Johnson comes down racing. Gordon into the corner, but Boyer already has the low groove, and there just wasn't room for three cars in that small a space. All right, we get three tries at this. Yeah, when Boyer dove to the inside, he actually got that shot from Ryan Newman, and that right there, you can see that wasn't going to work. Well, that, you know who's sitting in the catbird seat? The 88. He got fuel and left side tires. Riding with Clint Boyer. It's a big run. There you go, inside, outside, outside, outside. And no room. Almost, almost made it. That was almost a great move. And let's ride with Jimmy Johnson. Inside, too wide inside, too wide inside, too. And let's ride with Dale Jr. Everything's checking up funny a little bit there. He's coming there. One inside, just a 39. Stay low here. They're going to go low, go low, go inside, inside, one inside, one Ouch. inside. Keep there. Keep coming. Keep coming. Talk to that. Your third. Talk to that. Your third. AJ Allmendinger shot through, and now they're going to have to line things up before we can restart again. Now I'm not so sure. Here's what Jimmy Johnson had to say. What in the hell went wrong? It's a good question. 